All right, likewise. Let's, um, so, man likes math. Likewise, Stacy likes math. Super boring. Super boring. Um, grammatically correct. You could say, Likewise, Stacy likes it. Likes it as well. All of these, not good. I don't like any of these at all. I think these are awful. Like, really awful. Just terrible. Um, they're all awkward. You know, they're not grammatically incorrect, but they're awkward. And they're badly awkward. You want to use likewise. You want to make sure that using these words adds to the overall feeling that the reader gets when they read your piece. So here's what I would say. Matt likes math. Likewise, Stacy enjoys it. Um... Mostly because she she thrives under duress. Um, when asked, when tasked, <laughs> right? When tasked to um, to solve rigorous problems. So here we go. So Matt likes math. Likewise, Stacy enjoys it. So you could say Stacy enjoys it, but it's still not enough. Like if you said likewise, Stacy enjoys it, um, without saying mostly because blah blah blah, it just it doesn't sound that good. So if you just dumped this, it's another one of those instances where it just sounds awkward. It really does. It sounds super awkward. So how would you use awkward? Or how would you use awkward? How would you use likewise? You would lose it, use it here. Matt likes math. Likewise, Stacy enjoys it mostly because she thrives under duress and specifically when tasked to solve rigorous problems. Um, so it's like if we're adding, if we're using the second, you know, um, if we're using, we're sort of, the first sentence sort of isn't what the this two sentence combo is, is about. It's really about Stacy. We're actually, you know, we're introducing Matt liking math as sort of a springboard to jump into the fact that Stacy likes it as well as Matt, connecting their like uh, liking of math, but also we learn more about Stacy here. Likewise, Stacy enjoys it mostly because she drives on her dress and specifically tasks to solve rigorous problems. Um, so that's, that's a good, good way to use, uh, likewise. Let's look at another potential place to use it. Um, Matt, Matt loves reading. Likewise, he loves writing and anything that has to do with stories, characters, um, and far. Away, Lance. 
So if you if you if you uh, deleted this last part, it just looks bad. It looks awkward. It just it it's just a bad sentence. It's very. It's just very uh, juvenile. And so, you know, you normally want to use likewise when this second sentence is going to be more drawn out and more descriptive. Matt loves, loves likewise. Stacy enjoys it also because she thrives under duress, specifically when tasks to solve progress problems. Matt loves reading. Likewise, he loves writing. And anything that has to do with stories, characters, and faraway lands. And then you, you know, you can obviously like, you know, you're 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 gonna write more, obviously. You know, but this is a good uh, this is a good word to use when you've got something sort of drawn out that you're going to going to to discuss, um, and you want to bring the reader in in kind of an interesting way. And so this is just something that you just you you like to keep in mind. Um, so let's let's use one last example. So Matt loves woodworking. Likewise, likewise, he loves anything to do with. Um, So it wouldn't be anything to do with 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 wood. Um, it'd be it'd be a different material. So it'd be it'd be something else, or it could be something way way off. Like he likes anything to do with um, you know robots and uh, and um, you know and machines. And if you want to look up the exact meaning of likewise, I'll tell you. It means in the same way. Right? It means also, so it's synonymous, you know, with also or in the same way. So, Matt likes math in the same way. Stacy enjoys it mostly because she thrives under duress. Uh, Matt loves reading. Likewise, also, he loves writing. Um, See, so you could say it with a different subject, right? So here's a different subject, and it's totally fine. It totally makes sense. It's totally fine. So different subject, okay. We got math, Matt, and then Stacy, and then same subject, okay. And um, that's the most common, right? Because it's just it's just saying also. Matt loves reading. Also, he loves writing, and he just do story sketches and faraway lands. And then um, yeah, and this the same thing here. Matt loves woodworking. Likewise, he loves anything to do with robots and machines. So even though woodworking doesn't directly connect. Um, it, there's sort of a loose connection. Um, and if they were totally, totally separate, like he loves woodworking and like comic books. Um, you can see it loves anything to do with, you know, comic books and flying uh, characters that have special, special, you know, flying characters and other characters that have special powers, you know, da da da, da. So, so they could be very, very disparate or very, very different. Um, but what, what does the likewise have to do with? Well, the likewise has to do with time spent doing something, right? So that those some things don't have to be related. They have to be like what he loves doing, right? That, that time spent, uh, time that Matt spends doing something because he loves it. So 
So hopefully this is helpful. Um, it's very important that, you know, you're strategic and, and uh, I would say somewhat savvy about using the word likewise because I think that you, you don't just want to use these words just haphazardly without having a have, having kind of a plan, like a bigger plan in your in your writing. Um, and that keeps you, it pre actually prevents you from doing any of this stuff. I mean, this is just really juvenile, and I, I recommend that you skip over this completely and get to get to this stuff. Thank you very much.